Hello, Cog Squad. What is going on, y'all? Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm. Big day today. What's up, Arlo? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Big day today for our main man, Mr. Moo Man over here. All right, big day for Moo Man today. We got uh, we got our friend Derek, who's a farrier, coming out. Gonna try to give Moody a little trim on his hooves today. Pedicure. Pedicure. Now Derek's done camels and zebras, and he does horses. That's his main thing. Pigs. We may get him to hit Peach's feet while he's here to clip hers off because hers are starting to grow because she's not walking up and down that gravel road like she used to out here at the new farm and yeah we uh he'll be here in a few minutes and uh, we'll get started on the chores yeah i heated up some water for peaches oh, food good. this morning so she's out here saying she's first so you want to start with peaches i think we'll start peaches i'm gonna go grab my jacket i didn't think it was it is cool. chilly yeah. i came out without one <laughs> Maybe just went back in and got her so it's me, your turn right let me go grab my jacket here y'all right. take the camera let me cry, you want to grab Peach's bowl for me? Well, I think you're going to have to go in to get it. She's pushed it out towards the center. You're not going to be able to reach it. Alright, got two scoops. Get her vitamin. Tucker's over here talking this morning. Pour a little mineral oil on, and I got her warm water. She's gonna be happy this morning. It's got the lid's off now. Pour that whole bottle in there and give it a whirl. There you go. Peachy! Tell her what's happening. Well, you can go ahead and grab the girls' goat feed so that can distract them. Okay. She found it. Yum, yum. That was clean either. No. Alarm system is next. How do you get in there? What's up, Nuggy? What's up, Nuggy? Throw that one out. Yeah. See, buddy. She's going to sell your mouth like this. I don't know what that is. What you and the alarm system doing this morning, huh? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? All right, Nug. You about can't reach over him, can you? Hmm? Belt can't reach over to Big Daddy. The share. our mess. So since we dug the ditch out, all of our stuff had to be pulled out from a. Yeah. And it looks like a gigantic. Uh, but hey, we're getting closer on the pipe. We're getting really, really. That's what I have to close. tell myself when I see. Yeah. All of our stuff that he's picking up. It's a. Uh, Oh. Moving on down. <laughs> Got the alarm system taken care of this morning. Oh, there's one of the men in black right there. And the other men in black's over yonder. Venus. There's Venus. Egyptian. Who is that? Egyptian geese. Okay. Big old black and white thing. Who's this big old black and white goat in here? What up, Moo Man? You're talking about Joe, aren't you? Moo Man and the boys. He looks like Joe's little brother. <laughs> Joe's big brother. <laughs> Joe's little brother. <sighs> we are going to get Moo Man filled up this morning. Yeah. Three scoops. I've been giving him three scoops. And I'll put a couple of those alfalfa cubes on top of it for him. Where are they? They're over here. I'll grab them. What are you doing, Tuck Tuck? 
What are you doing, Lolo? Arlo and Tucker. I tell you, Arlo and Tucker play with each other. Do they? Yes, goodness. Uh-oh. Like this meeting? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Come on, Moo Man. Moo done knocked this thing over. All right, Moo. There you go, buddy. Mama got the goat's handle now. Yeah. Mama got the goat's handle. I'm going to see if we can get you hoof trimmed if you'll let us today. We don't know how he's going to act. Um, Derek seemed to think that since he was fairly tame that we could possibly stick a bucket of feed and distract him and he could clip his clip his hooves real quick uh, I seen any pictures of them he said they wasn't too bad at all that it wouldn't take him but just a few minutes to clip them off but uh we'll see how that goes what did y'all do yesterday we took that gorilla cart yeah and we came in here and yeah. we cleaned up all the cow patties i can tell but I guess see, what there's a couple of new ones in there he didn't get the memo that uh <laughs> it's supposed to stay clean oh we're gonna put that in our compost pile we are let me show y'all how uh, how much you got. A lot of y'all have a great idea of us putting chickens in there. But we're thinking if we put chickens in there, they'll spread it out. And I won't be able to put it in the compost pile. Yep. So we got a wheelbarrow full just, you know, just in a week's time. Yeah. So, and Mary Carl did all this by herself. I no. pushed the, the buggy and she loaded the cow patties. What? Yeah. So I think we got an official cow pasture cleaner. Hey, I never heard anybody say a steer patty. I ain't either. That's what so, a lot of people say it. <laughs> I, I hope we're I hope we're saying the right oh, we're terminology saying the right thing. for saying we cleaned up the cow That's patties. Right. What's up, Foxy and Bear? They are enjoying this cooler weather. They are. On to the next one. Good morning, poultry gang. How's everybody doing this morning? Coming to get them some scratch. You gonna get them some scratch, Mayflow? There she goes. Don't forget about the peacock. Uh -huh. Go sprinkle them some this morning. We give the peacocks a little scratch too. Everybody enjoys it. In the mornings. What's up, Dolly Parton? That American is most hard. All right, got this one filled up. chance of rain this evening I'm going to put the feeders underneath there so they don't get soaking wet look out corny Now this feeder right here, we don't have to worry about the weather because it is for outside use in the weather. It's got this big hood on it. Uh, this thing holds 50 pounds. I do get a lot of questions from you guys. Where did we get this thing from? And I think Amazon does have them. But I think we got ours from QC Supply. It's made by Cole. K-U-H-L. Holds 50 pounds. Now we had it when we used to run meat chickens. We had two of them. And uh, it just, just works great. Works really, really good. Especially you can just pour a whole bag of feed in that thing and don't have to worry about it. Just refilling it up like that sometimes. <laughs> It'll take you a minute. But that's by far my favorite feeder we got. All right, so 
There's another water that's gotta be filled up. Let's see what's going on in here this morning. Water cleaned out. Who laid an egg? I think it might be Melinda. Which one? Melinda. Oh, do you? Uh huh. Oh, wow. Oh, Melinda. Their water's okay. Their feed, let's see. Oh, yeah. So, let me tell you guys about something. We had a regular feeder in here, like that one right there. Just your typical feeder you get from any feed store. That's probably the most common feeder you'll see. And I could fill that feeder up. And, I mean, it was realistically in about a few hours, you could come back here and it would be completely empty. And we're talking about the world's smallest chicken breed in here. And I don't think it was them. No. I think and, it was them. And these modern games, they're not big. I mean, we got five in here. So. Yeah, this is about, look at how little they are. I mean, they're not big at all. So I knew they wasn't eating all that feed. I knew it. Now, this feeder over here would stay fairly full, but this one would go empty. And we were in, when we went shopping for Moody the other day, in the feed store, at uh, Garrison's, they had this feeder and it had these holes in it. And I told Mary Carl, I said that this feeder here, I think will work well because they can't scratch with their foot or their face and get the feed out because of these little holes. And it's raised up off the ground. So we tried it and we have not refilled this thing yet. I mean, look at their feet, how big they are. Yeah. Her feet won't fit in there. <laughs> no, their feet won't fit in there. It's the perfect, and they'll scratch it with their head too. Uh huh. But you can see her, she's gonna go in there, she's fixing to eat some. Oh, I thought she was. She saw me and quit. But yeah, this feeder is working out well. Uh, so much so that I'm gonna buy another one Look. for the guys behind us. Yeah, there she goes. Because it wastes so much feed. They Especially do. this uh, crumble. We're feeding these guys a layer crumble because they're so small, uh, and so that, that they tend to waste chickens tend to waste that crumble a lot. But this has really, really stopped them from whoa from wasting so much. And this thing's made by Double Tough, and this was at our our local independent feed store. That's pitch squeak is so loud. I've seen them at Tractor Supply before. Have you? Mm -hmm. Oh, so these guys are good, and I can't believe one of them laid an egg. I know. I'm going to see if she'll sit, maybe. Wow. I hear you, Tiny Tim. When he jumps down, uh -huh. watch him go in a circle. <laughs> he always does that little circle. He always does that little circle? Yes. <laughs> little Tiny Tim. Get it, boy. What's up, Melinda? He's such a pretty rooster. I like solid colors. Yeah. They're a lot easier to show because they're, you don't have to have them exactly perfect. Yeah. All right, so Mr. Derek is pulling up and we're fixing to see if we can uh, trim Moody's hooves. He coming, buddy. Huh? Yeah, come here. Come get your feet All right, that didn't go like we had thought. Um, number one, the camera just shut off for whatever reason. Uh, Brooke was recording, and it just shut off. Number two, he didn't miss anything uh, except us, you know, trying to get close to Moody. He did not like the rope. Similar to the day that we went and got him, that he didn't like that halter rope. He just does not like it. And he did not cooperate. Um, now he wasn't aggressive or anything. He was kind of nervous and scared more than anything. And he would just run off. So 
you know we we fooled around with him for a few minutes not very long Derek realized it wasn't gonna work he said we don't need to um we don't need to make him nervous around us and that kind of thing so we just quit trying and said we would give it another go for us to start working with him with the halter which we're going to do we're going to start working with him with that halter maybe bring it out here every time we feed have it on me uh, i'm going to treat him like a horse would that's that's what i'm thinking i just want him to get used to seeing that rope and halter so that's our plan i want him to get comfortable of seeing the rope and the rope halter uh derek seems to think if we can get his head still and you feed we tried the feed bucket thing but he did not like he, he could see he could feel the pressure of us walking to him while he was trying to feed and saw the rope and he just didn't like it he did not like it at all so you know we just let him be we don't want to um make him nervous or anxious in any kind of way other thing derek suggested was is that we make like a little corral and start feeding him in that every day too and then we could feed him in that and get him in that and if we could get the halter on him we could you know tie his head on the post and Derek could get on the side and clip his feet from the sides. Uh, other thing Derek said was is his feet are not that bad at all for us not to be worried that this is something that we need to get done immediately. He said that that one hoof, I think it's the outside. I think that's what he said. I have to look Moody's feet's in the hay right now. Uh, one, the one that's longer, he said that's normal. He said because a cow puts its weight on that hoof and the other one doesn't carry as much weight. And I may be totally wrong on this, but I'm almost positive I got this right. And so therefore it tends to get longer. Oh, it's the inside hoof that's longer. I'm looking at him right now. Ain't that right, Moo Man? Yeah. Oh, Moody. Now, he did get the boss lady's feet. He did get Peach's foot. Um, but all Peaches needed, a pig has three hooves or three toes or three toenails and it's the back one this really small kind of like a dew claw on a on a uh, dog is what it kind of reminds me of it was long and uh we he clipped those for us i would have recorded that but as you guys know and i've mentioned in the past dealing with pigs they are so darn loud as soon as we touched Peach's foot and lifted up, you thought the end of the world was coming. But that's their defense mechanism. That's what they do. And so, but Peach's is fine. She's chilling now, still laying in the sun. And she's okay and we got our foot taken care of, or our hooves taken care of. Oh, actually, the, the front parts really didn't need much trimming. We never really had to deal with Peach's because over at our new place, she had that gravel driveway and it kind of kept our hooves down but he said pig hooves grow pretty 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 darn fast but good we got somebody that can do it ain't that right nuggo nugget said he didn't get his hooves trimmed this morning <laughs> you didn't get yours trimmed did you buddy huh? you didn't get yours trimmed did you no nuggy lovey this morning hmm? We're getting some nutty lovey this morning. Yeah. Yes, we are. You don't go to sleep on me. You gonna go to sleep on me? Does that feel that good? Mm -hmm. You gonna go to sleep on me here, Nugget? Oh my gracious. That's your spot right there, Blaze Hill lay down. I can't reach over you on the fence, buddy. Yeah we can. Yeah we can. Yeah. Now. Oh goodness. Nugget love. If any of you guys have any tips on halter training a cow i would love to know shoot us an email uh leave some comments down below i would like to know 
especially since he's already a, you know he's already a big cow so it's not like we're training you from a baby so I'm thinking you have to treat it a little bit different is my guess is my guess but yeah I think I'm just gonna do it like a horse I'm gonna bring the halter out here for maybe a couple of weeks and let him see it every time I feed get used to it there and maybe let him smell of it for a couple of weeks and then maybe rub it on him for a couple of weeks and just get him used to that halter rope all right so we asked for your guys input on the tags on the fence and you know we were like we look at it one time and we liked it the next time we looked at it we didn't like it we asked your guys input and it was overwhelmingly that they kind of didn't like it because it blocks the animals you couldn't see the animals and then if we did it all the way across there you know you couldn't see the goats and all that and you know what that's a very valid point and uh Peaches agreed. She wants everybody to be able to see her beautiful self back there. So we're gonna come up with something with the tags. We may put them on the old barn. That's kind of what my idea was. Or we may figure out a way to put them on the coops. We'll see though, we'll figure it out. Won't we Boots and Bo and Capri and Fifi and the boss lady. We will figure it out. All right, so let's go put this in our compost pile. Thanks Moody, I needed this. And while we're over here, headed to the garden, we will check our cover crops and see if we got anything coming up. We've only had like one, really one good day of rain since I planted a cover crop. I wish I had had more. Well, let's see if we got anything coming up. All right, so let's check out what we got going on. As for the cover crops we put out, we put this out, I can't even know how many days ago it's been, but y'all look. They're starting to come up. I'm guessing. My guess is these are the radishes, the daikons or tillage radishes. Now, I don't know if I explained this before, but this is a really big radish. This thing gets huge. I've talked about them in the past, but this radish just gets huge. I mean, it'll get as long as your, as your arm if you let it. I mean, it gets huge. And that's why they call it a tillage radish because it'll go deep down into your subsoil and kind of break stuff up. Of course, this is gonna be the rye grass right here let's see oh this right here that's the hairy vetch that looks like hairy vetch right there i'm thinking that's our clover right there radishes clover there's hairy vetch and all these will just help my soul tremendously i know hairy vetch is a nitrogen fixer the tillage radishes we're gonna break that subsoil up. Uh, winter rye also helps with nitrogen. And all this keeps the weeds at bay. Once it gets a thick mass out here, we'll keep the weeds at bay and turn into a green manure and compost back into our soil. But you can start seeing patches of it coming up. We really need another good rain. And it's supposed to rain this evening. So that's good. Maybe that a kickstart this and really get it going.